Amen. And if you look at society, they act like mad dogs and wild swine. That's true. That's exactly what society is. That's right. They act like a mad dog and wild swine. Amen. You're not submissive. Amen. To the hand of God and God everlasting law. That's right. Welcome back to the Seeking for the Truth YouTube channel. This video's topic is on betraying God being the worst act we could ever do in this life. If we don't have a deep love for the truth then our past pleasures might easily pull us back into our old lifestyles and this is what Pastor Gino Jennings boldly highlights with scriptural skill and deep wisdom of the scriptures by showing the animalistic behavior and condition we end up in through our backsliding. Jennings substantiated his point by quoting 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 21 to 22 which states, For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, than, after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Pastor Jennings affirmed that this dog and sow condition is very prevalent among the human family because there's a lack of love for the truth and more love for unrighteousness. Now let's dive into the excerpt of Pastor Jennings breaking down this video's topic. Now, to turn on God is the worst act of betrayal that you can ever commit in your lifetime. That's right. That's worse than turning on a man or a woman or, an, or a job. Oh, yeah. That's worse than turning on the government. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Who is, who, who is it that gave us life? Oh. Talk back to me. Oh. Who is it that gave us bread? Oh. Water. Oh. Clothing. Oh. Shelter. Oh. Eyesight. Oh. Hearing. Oh. Speech. Oh. Sense of smell. Oh. Sense of touch. Oh. Mercy. Truth. Lord. No man, no woman Hallelujah. can equal the Lord. That's right. That's right. But look at you, Mr. Man and Miss Woman. Hallelujah. Miss Woman came by Miss Thing. Miss hmm. Thing came by. Shaking her hips like the equator. That's right. <laughs> yes, Amen. Roots you up right out the church. Uh -huh. yes, That's right. Some of you poor men, your wife told you, look, I ain't going to church no more. And for you to stay with, in this relationship, you're going to have to stop going. Anytime a man bow and go, you, you hear, you, 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 you ought to go to hell that minute. That's right. Because man was made in God's image. Amen. How much do you love God? Some say, I love him with all my heart. If you love him with all your heart, why is it you don't love all the truth? All the truth. You can't separate God from his word. No, no. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was what? God. God is the word, and the word is truth, so God is truth. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? For it had been better for them. It's better for you. Not to have known the way of righteousness. Not to have known mm. what's right. Then after they have known it. After you have known it. To turn. To turn. From the holy commandment delivered unto them. Do you hear this? You're going to turn from it? Turn from it. You're going to turn from it? My Lord. So many of you have turned against God. Look at you now. Yeah. Now you're back out there partying, sucking cigarettes, drinking, gambling, shooting dice, shooting pool. Yeah. Got second and third and fourth husbands and wives and all of that foolishness what you have. Mm -hmm. And you know better. That's right. So what have God said is better it's better. For it had been better it, for them. It is better for them. Not to have known the way of not righteousness. Not to even known about it. Then after they have known then it. Then after you have known it. To turn from the holy commandment that delivered unto them. Why? But it has happened unto them. All right, I want this to certify what I said earlier. You that left God, your animals. That's right. I know you offended, I know. 
That's right. I know you offended. I know you're right now getting the email together and said, Pastor Jennings, why in the world would you call me an animal? Amen. I'm not an animal. <laughs> yes, you are. Second Peter 2 and verse 22. I want to show, I want to read to you what you are, Mr. and Mrs. Animal, and I want to show you what kind. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 22. Follow me. But it has happened unto them. It is happened unto them. According. According. To the true proverb. What did God call them? The dog. What? The dog is turned to his own vomit again. What did he call them? Dog. Who let the dogs out of here? <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's a God. Who in the world let the dogs out? That's right. They're all out in the pulpit on the choir stand, mm. all in the aisle, jumping and shouting and making a bunch of noise. Yeah. What is that? The dog is turned. That's animal one. That's right. The dog is turned. To his own vomit again. Now, God call you a dog that eats his vomit. Vomit. That's right. Your vomit represent your past life. Now, let me explain and break this down. Anything you ate in the past, when you was eating it, you digest something good. Yeah. It smells good. But when you throw it up, your past became your present. That's right. Notice, it don't smell the same. No. It has a stench to it. Yeah. You know why? It went into the belly of the darkness. Now, when the Bible call you a dog, dog. eating your vomit, mm -hmm. that means your past pleasure that you enjoy, now it becomes your present life, and they have a stench because sin stink in God's nostrils. That's right. But because you love it so well, you shut down the stench. And focus on the pleasure. That's right. And God call you a dog, dog. Because a dog is not choicy about what vomit and whose vomit he eats. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Dog, listen. You don't find a dog take a paw and shoe flies. <laughs> no. A dog will lick the vomit and the flies. Yes, he will. He don't care if dung is mixed in it. That's right. He'll chew the dung up too. That's right. I want you to get this backslider. The dog. Not only does the Bible call you a dog, mm -hmm. he call you a vomit eater. That's right. That's and right. when you go back to any belief that contradict the word of God and it was preaching of holiness that brought you out from that belief, you're a dog, oh. you're a dung eater, a vomit eater. That's right. Animal one, dog. Dog. What's the next animal? And the sow. Pig. That was washed to her wallowing in the mire. The next animal you are, you're a pig. Sow. That was washed. Was washed. Now you go right back and wallow. In the mire. And you're dirt. That's right. You're filth. You ungod That's why you folks love the devil's church. Because the devil's church justify every form of wicked thing you ever want to do because you know you don't want to live holy. That's right. Some of you go to church because they got holy on the building. That don't mean nothing. No. That don't mean they believe in holiness nor preaching. No, no. Eh? Amen. Do you hear it? But it has happened unto them. The Bible says what? It has happened unto them. Oh, it happened. There's no maybe so about it. It have happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog That's is That's why turned. we call you an animal. That's right. That's why we call you an animal this morning, this afternoon, tonight. The you dog. That, you that's there on Animal Farm, you better get this. That's right. Because you out there now, you once was a sheep. Oh. Mm. Go ahead, man. Are you listening to the old man? <laughs> Go ahead. The Lord our God says, my sheep will hear my voice. My voice. And a stranger they will not follow. That's right. You once were the sheep. That's right. And the devil transformed you to a dog. Go ahead. Look at what happened to you. You were the sheep eating in green pastures. And now you turn to turn. a dog eating vomit. Vomit. Amen. Amen. You went from a sheep in green pastures and now turned to a pig waddling back oh in mud all over again. That's right. Why would you let this preacher do this to you? Go ahead. Why would you let someone do this to you? You know why? 
Because you receive not. The love of the truth. So just go back to that. Back in 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 10. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Oh, yeah. Remember, hearing the truth yeah. is not enough. Mm. Let me say it again. Hearing the truth is not enough. I get thousands of letters from all around the world. People write me, Pastor Jennings, I, 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 I'm addicted to what you're preaching. Mm. I get thousands of letters like that. I'm addicted. Well, some say I wake up listening to you. I go to bed listening to you. Mm. I don't listen to no more preachers. I stop going to church. Thousands have told me. They don't go to church no more. All those testimonies are good. But do you love the truth enough to come out of what you're in That's it. and walk with the truth and stay in it? That's it. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 8 and we're at verse 31. What is it? Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, and if ye continue in my word. You got to continue. All of you that have been baptized by the truth of God everywhere in the world. Everywhere. You got to continue, continue in the message of holiness. That's right. And to do that, you got to sit under it. That's right. And you got to be in it. That's right. You can't be in and out. You got to be in it. Amen. Continue. 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 Continue in my word. You got to continue. That's right. That's right. Huh? Oh, yeah. Not sometime. You got to continue. Continue in my word. God, when I'm sick, I'm continuing. That's right. When I'm weak, I'm continuing. Because if I get, while I'm in it, if I get weak, even uh, and I'm in it, at least God can make me strong again. That's right. So I'm going to continue. That's right. I, mean, I ain't going to get weak and go out, and then I'm leaving the Lord no. and become a dog and a pig. Oh, no. I want to remain a sheep. That's right. That's right. And yeah, when I was a sheep and the word of God being preached, I had to say, hey, Amen. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <laughs> Good sheep, the word of That's God right. being preached, I'm out there. Hey, Amen. That's right. Now I'm out there in the street. <laughs> Got a whole different sound. Amen. And if you look at society, they act like mad dogs and wild swine. That's true. That's exactly what society is. That's right. They act like a mad dog and wild swine. Amen. You're not submissive. Amen. To the hand of God and God everlasting law. That's right. That's you looking at me now laying up in bed with your whiskey. You, reefer smoker. Go ahead. Bro. Don't put your hand and ask am I talking to you. I'm talking to you, your pipe smoker, cigarette sucker, cigarette and pipe smoker and reefer smoker, joint taker. Amen. I was in an airport one day. Some folks ask me why I do that. I do that because I know there's people doing it while they're watching me. <laughs> and I'm not making it up. I can't even count the amount of people that wrote me and stopped me mm. and told me that you got my attention because we, you, were, you was talking and preaching one night and I was just lighting up a cigarette. Mm. And you said, you that got that cigarette in your hand. He said, I look. <laughs> and then you paused and said, yeah, you. Man told me the cigarette. He just dropped it out of his mouth. <laughs> Another man told me we was preaching one day and said, you that got that bear in your hand. He just was about to pop it open. And he looked up. And I said, don't be looking at me. He looked around his room. <laughs> he said he threw that can of beer in the trash and haven't took a drink since. Wonderful. Wonderful. Viewers, what makes this program different than any program on social media, radio, or television? We are pointing you to God. That's it. Nothing else out there is pointing you to the Lord. Amen. We are pointing you to God to get on his side before God snatched the breath out of your body. Amen.